All right, you guys, welcome to, um, but first, happy holidays. It's Christmas tomorrow. But I wanted to talk to you, um, all you digestion restoration friends, about, um, it was just a hawk that flew by my window. That was very exciting. I wanted to talk to you guys today about, um, with your initial phone consult, we talk about digestive aids. And I wanted to um, express the importance of the digestive aids, why that is so important that we talk about it first, and then also want to um, explain to you guys what those digestive aids do and why they are so important. So um, with your initial phone consult, when you sign up with your membership, the first thing we want you to do is take your symptom survey assessment and then have a phone call with us. And my questions with you are, what is your digestive experience like currently? What, did it ha what has it been for years? That gives me an idea of what your digestion has been struggling with. Now, the three things that I look for is the number one, the holy grail of all digestion, which is hydrochloric acid. Most of the time, people's symptoms will reflect that they have too low hydrochloric acid. That can um, manifest as like bloat and gassiness and burpiness. That can manifest as stomach ulcers. Um, if you've been on PPIs for several years, you obviously have low hydrochloric acid. When you have low hydrochloric acid, your food doesn't break down efficiently. Think of your food and all that fiber like a big, um, it's like a jail, right? And then the hydrochloric acid breaks open that jail, breaks open the bars, and all the nutrients, all the B vitamins, all the, um, the, um, the, the fat-soluble vitamins, they all can break loose and your body can absorb that. Now, think of that gel again. It goes through your stomach. You don't have enough hydrochloric acid and it's not breaking open. So you're not releasing all of those really crucial vitamins that help with healing and repair and energy metabolism. So it's going straight through your stomach because there's no hydrochloric acid or little hydrochloric acid. It goes into your small intestine and it doesn't get absorbed. So you just kind of poop it out. So when embarking on this digestion restoration program, I wanna make sure that when you're putting in healing foods, you're getting every bang for your buck, which means you're breaking down that food efficiently. You're absorbing that food efficiently because too often people say, I'm eating well, but I still feel blah. I'm not getting better. Well, here's why, because you might be absorbing half of your food and all of that nutrients is just going to damage control. So we're, it's almost like a savings account, right? Um, let's say you spend $100 a day, but you need $120 to heal and repair. But let's say you're only absorbing $100. So you're, you're right where you started that morning. You're not any closer to healing and getting better. You need to absorb $120 in order to heal and repair because that $100 is just to keep you alive. So hopefully that makes sense. So Zypan is number one with everything and most symptoms can be tied back to that hydrochloric acid being way too low, which is why I highly recommend everybody does that burp test, which is first thing in the morning, half a cup of water with a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. You drink it and you time how fast you start burping. Okay, so make sure you guys do that. Um, the next uh, digestive aid that I almost recommend to everyone is Enzycor. Now, Enzycor is, um, is the digestive enzymes that help break down the food even more in the small intestine. That is often produced by something called the brush border, which is the border of the intestines. Your intestines release enzymes, but so does your pancreas. So your pancreas is releasing enzymes, that brush border is releasing enzymes, and those enzymes break down the food even further than what the hydrochloric acid did. Um, now there's a disconnect because if you don't have enough hydrochloric acid um, produced in your stomach, it doesn't signal that pancreas and it doesn't signal that brush border to produce those enzymes. So let's say you've been dealing with low hydrochloric acid for years, potentially decades. Um, yes, I put you on the Zypan, but sometimes it takes a while for your brush border to kick in. Sometimes it takes a while for that pancreas to kick in. So when we have a lot of damage control, when we have a lot of catching up to do, I will put people on Enzycor because I wanna make sure again, we're squeezing out every little bit of nutrients 
possible. So that's why one, Zypan, we're increasing the robustness of that hydrochloric acid. Two, Enzycor, we're making sure that if your pancreas isn't doing its job because it hasn't for years, um, that we are just going that extra mile to make sure you are absorbing all your food. The third thing that I put people on, and I put them on this less often, it's something called Digest Forte. Now, most of you people might know the term better as bitters. What do bitters do? They, you, so with the Digest Forte, which is bitters, you can actually suck on it um, about 15 minutes before every meal and it preps your digestive system for digestion. It's really, really incredible actually. It can help you create more hydrochloric acid. It can help you create more enzymes to break down your food. But I typically give that to people once they have gotten the Zypan down, once they have their body used to utilizing Zypan and Enzycor. Another beautiful thing with the, bit with the bitters, which is the Digest Forte, it helps to heal up the gut lining. So when you have tons of inflammation, like let's say you have digestive um, distress times a million, <laughs> then I often say you need Digest Forte too. And so um, that is my third kind of um, bullet in my little like weaponry. Um, I do think everyone should try Digest Forte, but I do, again, I, I prefer to be a little bit more conservative because I know this healing process can be really daunting and overwhelming. So if you are on Enzycor, if you are on Zypan and you're seeing improvement and you're feeling good and you're like, let's take this another step, then consider taking the Digest Forte because it can do multiple things like healing the gut, like I said, but it can also help you get off of your Zypan faster. It can help you get off of your Enzycor faster so that you're only utilizing, that, that it's triggering your body to do all the digesting by itself once again. Now, again, I always say that's when we are a little bit more experienced and more intuitive with our digestion. Um, and so that's, the, that's my trifecta of digestive enzymes, guys. So again, with your first initial consult, I'm always gonna ask you about your digestion. How is it healing, what is it doing, and what do we need to support it? Those are typically my three favorite things to support it. Please recognize I don't recommend probiotics, and that's a very specific, for a very specific reason that we will talk about another time. But probiotics does not equal efficient absorption. All right, normally I only tell people to take probiotics if they are currently taking an antibiotic. Why? Because the best way to grow healthy bacteria is to feed it healthy food. So the good guys eat the good food and the bad guys eat the bad food, which is why I want you to utilize the Zypan, to utilize the Enzycor, to help your food break down so that that good bacteria can actually digest it because it helps you digest the food too, all right? Isn't that pretty cool? So don't spend lots of money on probiotics. You're just wasting your money. Occasionally there is a person who's like, a probiotic changed my life. You won't hear those stories a lot. We will specifically talk more about probiotics because there's a whole world to unco uncover about probiotics. But this is why I am so adamant about digestive aids because your body was perfectly designed to break down your food efficiently but stress got in the way, trauma got in the way, unhealthy foods got in the way, soda got in the way, medications got in the way. And so what these enzymes do, what these digestive aids do is just help your body break it down again better, help your body absorb everything better. So when you're absorbing, you're healing, all right? So that's your um, Digestive AIDS 101 introduction. If you've already had your phone consult with us, then you've heard a lot of this. If you haven't had your phone consult with us, um, we will be covering this. This is what to expect. Um, this is why digestive aids are so, 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 so important. Alrighty. Um, you guys have a Merry Christmas. Um, don't worry too much about like healing now. Just enjoy yourselves. You know, um, when Christmas is done, when New Year's is done, we're all gonna get on this bandwagon. I'm gonna be reaching out to you guys a lot. And starting January 4th is when we're all gonna dive into this program. You will all get your um, digital copies of the digestion program and the menus, and your books should be showing up about like the 10th of January, so about a week into the program. So those recipe books will be coming, they're just gonna be a little bit late, I apologize. 
Um, but make sure you're doing your phone consult with us, you have your Voxer um, conversation with us, um, and that you uh, and let us know if you are feeling supported through this and that you know what you're doing. And if you need some help, reach out. Merry Christmas, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.